Good morning. It is that time again, shipping some stuff out. I'm glad you could join me. We've got three things today, all a little different. So let's go. sold this uh, Tommy Bahama bottle opener. I bought these at, I want to say, not Tuesday morning, another one of those stores like that where it was on clearance. And um, it'll come to me. I got a whole bunch of them. And I've been sitting on these for a while. This one sold on Mercari. Yes. I just recently got them put over to Mercari. That's where it's sold. All right. We're going to do this a little different. Of course, we're going to give it its little cocoon of safety. And yep, I'm going to use the eBay tape, even for a Mercari sale. I think pretty much people know that if you sell in one place, you're selling on them all. And I would much rather have the sale on eBay. So if I can get them over to my eBay, so be it. And, and there's another tip. I have the same uh, ID and store name on every place I sell except Poshmark. Uh, I did Poshmark a little different because I wanted to test a new thing. And it's mostly clothes. Or th I thought I was going to do mostly clothes. Okay, so I'm going to use a padded envelope. This is not just a poly, you know, that doesn't have any pad. This has actual bubble wrap. And because this is already in a box and it's not breakable, it is a safe way to ship it. Boom, boom. It's much lighter than a box, so the shipping price goes down. And voila, one package done. Uh, sold a puzzle. Sold a puzzle on Mercari as well. Mercari's kind of picking up. My daughter's selling on Mercari and saying that she's doing quite well there. So I don't know if Mercari's doing some good advertising during this quarantine stuff or what, but stuff's a selling. And, and what's really crazy is I almost didn't list this. I almost didn't because it's a Christmas theme. And that, eh, I'll wait. She wants a Christmas puzzle right now. <laughs> Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, they do. So there we go. And as you know, I get my shipping stuff all ready ahead of time. I've already got my scheduled pickup, so I don't have to go to the post office. I just have to get everything out there before the... USPS comes, and they come about noon. I have a little time, but it's good to get your shipping done in the morning. Just get it off your plate. All right, this is another opportunity to show you a different size box that the USPS has. They actually have several different sizes of these rectangular boxes. This one happens to work just perfect for my puzzle, and they come with little I have no fingernails. Ah, okay. Um, they already have a strip of adhesive. Now, what I'm going to tell you about that strip of adhesive, it's great for starting your box. Don't trust that alone. You still want to put tape on there. Okay. So now I got my puzzle and my bubble wrap. It's going to fit right down in that box. Now there's a little tiny gap that I am going to fill it with some tissue paper. I'm not going to use bubble wrap. I'm going to use tissue paper because all I'm doing is just keeping the thing from moving in there. And tissue paper is much cheaper than bubble wrap. Tissue paper at the dollar store. That's where I get it. Big bundle of tissue paper for a buck. 
Very cheap. All right. So, there we go. Now, I am going to go all the way around this box, like so. Boom. That's not coming open now. Oh, and what did I forget to do on that first package? You guys need to call me out on that. I didn't write what was in there. Of course, I don't have that much to ship today, so I would remember, but it's still a good habit to get into. So I'm going to write it, just in case my brain goes numb. All right, last but not least, we have a breakable. This sold for $54, okay? It's a Franciscan... There's a little Franciscan mark. Uh, it's a tea canister. I took a best offer of $54. Now, I was going to use a number four, which is that smaller USPS box, but decided it was just a little too snug. So I bumped up to my eBay branded 8x8x8. It's a little bit sturdier and has a little bit more room. So again, we're going to just do the first, just make the box, okay? This is not about holding the box closed. Now, I'm going to wrap my item with my bubble wrap. Can I keep the lid on? Yes, I can. So again, anything with a lid that's breakable, I put a layer of bubble wrap. There's no way to invert this one like I do on some of the other ones. So we're just going to wrap it like so and give it a really good cocoon. All right, it's feeling good. I can't feel the edges anymore. drop and feel pretty good about it. Again, I don't want to drop this on the concrete floor yet. Once it's in the box, I don't have a problem doing that. It'll be fine, but not yet. <laughs> not just yet. Again, if I don't get some packing peanuts soon, I'm going to run out of bubble wrap. I really need packing peanuts. So if you know a good source that's open in Las Vegas right now, I would be happy to know what that is. All right. And if you're watching this sometime in the future, this is being filmed during a time when we are on lockdown, quarantine, in our homes, shelter in place, danger, danger, Will Robinson, uh, because we have a virus going on. It would be kind of interesting, you know, years from now, how we look back at this time and go, oh, do you remember when our kids are going to have stories to tell to their kids and grandkids, and it'll just pass right along. Because it is definitely a crazy time. Crazy time. I am so thankful to have an e-commerce business that I can keep money coming in. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Again, shake test. It's not moving. And now we're going to go all the way around tape to tape. Lots of strength that way. And you know me, I like to go crisscross. cross. 
Now, I noticed something here, and I've talked about this before. See this lip right here? That is a potential catch on processing equipment hazard. So, it doesn't take anything, except that if I lose the end of the tape, uh, to just fasten that down. Now, there are some sellers, and you might be one of them, that goes all along the edges and does all that. I don't do that. I, I'm trying to go as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible um, and as safely as possible all at the same time. So time is money. Time is money. You need to get back to listing after you do your shipping and uh, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.